Yes. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is uh, the demo class for class seventh and eighth English uh, Olympiads preparation, and we have a wonderful mentor, uh, Poonam, uh, who's going to be taking your classes. So, Poonam, ma'am, why don't you just provide a brief about yourself? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, good evening, students. Uh, I am Poonam Rajpal. I am going to be your mentor, um, your learning buddy. uh for the for the current batch class 7 uh i'm glad to be here great to see all of you attend a demo session on a weekend that's so nice to see that interest in all of you now um tell me how many of you feel good when you get good marks in your academics if you could raise your hand yeah all of us feel good you know no concepts before the teacher in the class teaches you or before uh, even your you know your classmate knows obviously success is always sweet but remember to taste that flavor of success it's important to walk that extra mile so when i say extra mile we have to work harder than others in the class now olympiad classes will help you achieve that extra mile so um, you know me being a passionate teacher i would love to take along all my students travel with me to learn new things explore that something that is hidden explore the knowledge and become better in our language uh, remember these classes are not only going to help you with your academics but also help you to communicate uh, effectively with the world outside so for that we require the grammar we should be you know very strong in its foundation so we we are going to strengthen our basics in this language and i look forward to learn and teach all the future thank you so much right. and and i would agree with that uh, punam ma'am because i think the focus is on the practical applications of some of the things that they learn right uh, so that is how it is going to be and that is what i think some of the olympic exams and competitive exams are all about okay uh, rajan uh, uh, maybe you can provide a brief about the program and then we'll move to uh, punam ma'am for the demo demonstration yes sure sir let me just share my screen just give me one second So, sir, my screen is visible. Ah, uh, no, your screen is not visible. Okay, Yes, is it visible? Okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. So, students, welcome to the demo of class seven eight English. Let me tell you about us about Olympiad Success. So, Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad exam, and we have Olympiad live classes. And students, this is India's actually this is third year in uh, our, our third year in live classes. And students, we have School Plus program. So in School Plus program, we offer eight courses that are Mathematics, English, Science, Logical Reasoning. Communication, communication spoken and written both Vedic maths as well as coding. What else? We also offer online CBC plus Olympiad classes for grade six to ten, and one of nine preparation classes for international mathematics Olympiad like CSMO that is Singapore Asia Asian School Maths Olympiad CMO HKIMO TIMO Math Count uh, US Math Competition Math Kangaroo PRMO and also J M preparation. Meet the rank holder for session twenty one twenty two. So in Olympiad success, we got many international rank one students. now about this course students there will be around 20 students in the class and the classes will be conducted on zoom platform only okay i think my okay just give me one second yeah no actually the ppt is uh off let me open it again so
Yes, so students about this course, there will be around students in the class and the classes will be conducted on Zoom platform only, okay? So there will be three sessions per week. The days will be Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday. And timing okay. will this be... Is this Tuesday or Thursday? Uh, let me check, sir. I think it is, yes, it is, I think, Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday okay. and Saturday, TTS. Yeah, this mistaken here. So okay. the class is timing, yeah, timing will be 8 p.m. to 9.15 p.m., okay? So the class duration will be 75 minutes. So there will be a break of minutes in between, okay? And the session include mix of theory, practice question, doubt session, and we will also discuss previous year paper, okay, students? And you will provide it with reading material and practice questions that will be available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. And with this course, you will get free access to the Olympiad Success uh, topic-wise worksheet uh, for English as well as logical reasoning, okay? So please know that the classes will take place on Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday and Saturday, yes. from 8 to 9.15 p.m. Okay, so we stand corrected. Yes. So syllabus link I will share in the chat box, students. So the fees for this course will be 11,680 and there will be 55 sessions in this course, okay? The fees include online classes, daily reading notes and exercise, piece of previous year paper. And like I said, you will get the access to the platform for uh, Olympiad Success Platform for English as well as logical reasoning. And students, if you uh, enroll today, uh, you are eligible for free Crest English Olympiad exam, okay? So to join this course, what you need, you need a laptop with good internet speed and headphone. And students like, you know, like preparation for Olympiad exam is tougher than regular school curriculum. So we will advise you to spend approximately two hours every day to cope up with the curriculum, okay? And parent supports will be needed to check the answers and retreat concepts. So the classes, live classes for this course will start from 4 June students. And currently we have students from 300 schools and we are catering in 35 plus countries. So this is about this course students, okay? Now, if you have any doubt, any query, uh, you can ask in the chat box. Uh, Rajin, do you also want to provide a brief about the platform? Yeah, sure, sir. Just give me one second. Let me open the website. Okay. In the meantime, if you have any questions, you can let us know. <clears throat> any questions from the students? Or all clear? Okay, Kashvi, can you unmute yourself and ask questions? Yes, sir. Sir, I wanted to ask that, sir, will the fees of 11,000 be for all the classes each or, or, or the total of the classes? This is for all the classes, all the 55 sessions. So, sir, it is for each of them, uh, specifically 11,000 for each class. When you say each class means? Uh... So, like each uh, course. Each course, yes, yes. So obviously, for this is the fees for English uh, Olympiad preparation. Oh, okay. okay sir. So this includes, uh, yeah, this includes fifty-five sessions that we are going to have. Uh, towards the end, we are also going to be doing PBSA papers. Uh, plus, we are also going to be, uh, I think, covering syllabus for both class seventh as well as eighth. Okay, because I think if you look at the syllabus, it is very similar for seventh and eighth. And that is what he is going to be covering. Okay, sir. And also, sir, uh, have uh, we uh, will we have classes at the same time only? Yeah. So uh, okay, the sir. classes will take place on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from eight pm to nine fifteen pm. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, sure. Okay, so students, just let me share my screen. Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Sir. Uh, sir, which books will we need? for this class uh, ideally you would not need any books because the reading material exercises practice papers everything is going to be provided by us okay sir thank okay. you so rajan is actually going to show provide a brief overview of the platform and the kind of reading material which is going to be there so that is all going to be provided okay, okay there will also be mock tests which are going to take place after every topic is over so once every topic is over we'll also have test so that you would also be able to evaluate how your performance is in each of the topics. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay, so let me share my screen and show you uh, about the Olympiad Success Dashboard. Okay. And we will take the other questions after that. So my screen is visible. Okay. So students, I'm just showing you like uh, where you will find the all content and everything reading material practice test. So what you need to do, you need to visit the Olympiad Success website, okay? And then you need to click on my account. 
will provide you the credential when you register for the course. Okay, you need to sign in with that credential. So when you sign in, uh, this is the student profile. Okay. Now where you will find the content, all content is in the live classes. Just click on live classes. So here, what you need to do, you need to select your subject firstly. Okay. So when, you, when I uh, click on this, I can see all the subject for which I have enrolled. So actually I have enrolled for all the subjects. So that's why it is showing. So in that, in your case, uh, it will show the subject for which you have enrolled on Olympiad success. Just choose your subject. Here you can check the schedule. Let me show you the schedule. So here you will find the session wise schedule, like on which session with topic uh, we are going to cover. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is the session wise schedule. Okay. Like on which session which topic you are going to learn. And after each and every topic, there will be a mock test, test discussion. Okay. Like here in session three, we have a test discussion. So uh, here you can check the schedule. This is the holiday calendar, like on which day you have the holiday. Uh, mostly it is listed holiday. Uh, like here, you can see the Zoom meeting ID. So for uh, your, like when you enroll for the course, uh, here the meeting ID you can see, and you can see the password uh, that you can use to join the classes. Now for reading material and practice test, what you need to do, you need to select the topic here. So let me select this topic. So for each and every topic, you will find the reading material and practice question. And these are the answer keys. Okay. Just click on reading material. Let me know how it looks like. So this is the reading material. Okay. So what you can do like after the classes, uh, you can go through that for the revision. And this is the practice question and answer key. Besides uh, re reading material and practice question, we have worksheets also. So here you will find all the worksheets. Let me show you. So these are topic wise worksheet. Uh, you can select your subject here. Like I said, uh, with this course, you will also get uh, free access to the logical reasoning worksheet. So when you enroll, you will, uh, you can access a worksheet for English as well as for log logical reasoning. So here uh, we have like a uh, topic wise worksheet and around 83 worksheet and each worksheet is in the form of exam. So that's why it is looking like take exam. Just click on that to attempt the worksheet. Click on start worksheet. Choose the correct option and for the next question, click on next. When you complete it, just click on finish to submit it. This is the feedback form. Uh, if any student have any feedback, they can share with us. Okay. So when you submit it, you will find the result somebody here, like uh, how many questions you have attempted, how many are correct, how many are wrong. And you can see correct answer and the answer you have marked. Okay. Now, if later on uh, you want to check uh, performance for any worksheet, this is the performance step. Here you will find all the result, detailed result for each and every worksheet you have attempted. Just choose your subject, click on view. So this is the analytics, like how many questions you attempted, how many are correct, how many are wrong. Click on review. And here you can check the correct answer and the answer you have marked. Okay. So that's how it is students. So this is the reading material, practice question and everything. Okay. So anyone have any question, any doubt? Yes, Devansh. Sir, the mock test will be uh, in the uh, class only or the next session? Oh, so these mock tests, right? The topic wise test, uh, they, you will have to attempt it uh, uh, not in the class, right? Because you don't want to spend that class time for the test. So you'll do it during your free time. Uh, but the discussion on that test will take place in the class. Okay. Okay. Sir. Plus, if you have any other doubts related to the topic, 
you can also clarify it with the ma'am uh, during that particular session. Okay, so thank you. Any further questions? Yes, sir. Sir, about uh, average, how much time will it take to, uh, to complete one test? Uh, not more than 30 minutes. Uh, so generally, these are like short uh, papers, uh, okay, which and takes around 20 to 30 minutes, not more than that. And sir, how Especially many... for English, I think it will be even faster, actually. So my sense is that you should be able to complete it within 15 minutes. So, sir, what is the time limit? Uh, we don't have the time limit for the mock test. So generally, people are able to complete within 15, 20 minutes. Okay, sir. And we will get three assignments a week, right? You would get three assignments a week, so obviously. So after every class, we'll have assignments. Plus, you'll also have a test uh, almost on a weekly basis because I'm just assuming that one topic will get covered in a week, three sessions. So then you'll have a test as well. Thank you. Okay, any further questions? So does everybody remember when are the classes going to take place? Like what days of the week the classes are going to be there? Uh, TTS. TTS, yes, that's a very uh, good acronym. Uh, and what time would be the classes? 8 to 9.15. Okay. Uh, 8 to 9.15. And in how many months the course is going to be over? Sir, four months, right? For four months, I think. No, I don't think so. Calculate once again. So four and a half months. Approximately, right? So uh, five yeah. months. I'll, I'll make it five months because then there might be one or two uh, vacations also. So, but typically this is going to take around five months when the course is going to be over. Okay, okay sir. And, and the sir? video recording of each of the classes are going to be available to you in case you miss the class. But I definitely don't prefer people missing the classes uh, because the kind of interaction you'll have with the ma'am, I think you'll actually find out the benefit of that during the demo. Okay. What else? Yes, sir. And suppose in a week, about how many hours will we have to spend on this? All the Approximately, assignment? Uh, more, not more than. So I would expect that around five, six hours should be good enough, uh, totally within the, uh, for the entire week. Okay, sir. Five, Thank six you. Why? Because then around two hours you do practice papers, you have some reading material. So so around six hours is I would suggest. Okay, okay spending sir. on this. And sir, what what exactly is the portion? Portion means the syllabus. Portion that we, yes, syllabus that we will cover. So Rajan, I think we need to share the uh, the the all the links. Yes, I will share, sir. Yeah. So I think we'll share the uh, all the details related to the syllabus, a uh, few other details, which I think Rajan is going to be talking about. Okay, okay. sir. Thank you. Uh, but I think the schedule that you had seen, right? Obviously, that also has the entire syllabus. But Rajan is actually going to share the uh, link to the syllabus. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any further questions? Yes, actually, I have a question. Oh, sorry, yeah. sir. Yeah, tell me. Sir, actually, I wanted to ask that, sir, uh, when we have Monday tests, like every uh, every single class, like before every single class or so? No, 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 no. There would not be test after every single class. Only after one topic is covered, there would be a test. A mock okay, test, sir. which is going to be given to you, you are supposed to give that test. And in the next class, the very next class, the test is going to be discussed. Right? So if you have faced any problems or some concept is not clear, uh, you can clarify that in the next class. Okay, sir. And also, sir, who will uh, sir, ma uh, will a uh, ma'am be teaching us or a sir? Puna ma'am is there, na? Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Sorry, okay. ma'am. Yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. Okay, I think what we'll do is, uh, uh, Rajan, if you have all the links, why don't you just share it in chat? And I would hand it over to Puna ma'am for the uh, for taking a topic. Okay, so that will be a demo for you guys. Yeah, sure, sir. I'm Shima Jones. So, sir, I think we can start with the demo. And okay, okay, okay. No, worries. no worries. Yeah. So, Poonam, ma'am, over to you. Hi, again. If you all can wave at me. And I will request all of you to switch on your video. It will be nice to interact. 
Nachiket, Manan, Sohini, Kedi, Hanya, Sampurna. Okay, I'll wait for uh, rest all of you to switch on your video as we go ahead. Okay, I'll just share my screen, children. Okay, can you see my screen? Give me a thumbs up if you can. Can you give me a thumbs up? Yes. Okay. So today's topic is subject verb agreement. Okay. Uh, how many of you have known this topic or we've studied this before? Give me a thumbs up or maybe you raise your hand. Okay. Some of you are raising hand. Okay. I'll make it easier for you in this class or those who do not know, don't worry. It's very easy. Remember subject verb agreement is a concept in English grammar where most of us make mistakes. So, you know, because we do not know these rules, they don't come under the parts of speech like noun, pronoun, verb, adverbs. It's a basically a concept where we have to understand a number of rules so that we don't make errors in framing sentences. Okay, before, we, before I teach you, explain you what is subject verb agreement, it's important that we know what is a subject in a sentence. Okay, now, um, Kashvi, if you could unmute and tell me, what do you mean by a subject? Ma'am, a subject is a person who is, ma'am, supposedly like a first person. First person? No, not really. Devansh, if you would, you would you like to try that? Ma'am, can, yeah. can I explain it again? Yes, no problem. Tell ma me. Uh, the subject is, ma'am, uh, something which, ma'am, once again. It's okay, Kashvi. You have all children, you have all the freedom to make mistakes in my class. Okay, so never hesitate. It's okay. You try. Okay, let I me make just not explain it in the right no, words. No problem. no problem. Remember, okay, it's more easier to understand what is a verb. Verb is an action. Verb is an action. Yes. Now, in a sentence, what we are going to do is identify the verb. Okay. Then ask, who is doing the action? That answer is your subject. You got it? So doer of the action in that sentence is subject. Simple. Now when I say Poonam is teaching English, very quickly I can identify teaching is action. That means that is verb. So I ask that question, who is doing this action of teaching? Poonam, ma'am. So Puna man becomes the subject in the sentence. So that means subject means it is a doer of the action. Simple. Now, they both come. So then most of your sentences will have a subject and a verb. So they both come. They have a deal with each other. They come in agreement with each other. Okay. Here, it's like an agreement. I always tell students, it's like an agreement between a tenant and an owner. Owner and tenant. Okay? So here, owner is the subject. Because the own, he, he owns the sentence here. The tenant listens to the owner, right? Isn't it? The tenant listens to the owner. Owner will say, you know, you have to repay, you have to give me these, this much of rent and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So likewise, verb will listen to the subject. Now, what is that agreement? Okay, that is one agreement. That's the golden rule. Okay, now before that, uh, before that statement, I would say all of us know numbers in math. In English also, we have numbers. We have two numbers, singular, plural. Okay? Two numbers, singular and plural. Here, the agreement between the subject and verb is that if the subject is singular, verb also has to be singular. If the subject is plural, the verb also has to be plural. Simple. This is the golden rule that you have to understand 
in short of a, a, a subject verb agreement is sva wait kashvi let me finish i'll give you a chance definitely okay now i say harry and ron wait are waiting at the station rahul is a brave child okay can you tell me uh, let me ask nachiket rahul is a brave child what is a verb here ma'am verb is an action word yeah no what can you please identify remember children yes it's more easier to identify verbs when they are action but there are some verbs that are come under the be form of verbs they just tell the state of being rahul is a brave child ma'am brave verb ma'am brave vrinda would you like to try what is brave is not an action definitely brave is an adjective who would like to tell you could raise your hand kd who is kd i don't know you've raised your hand sampurna you could unmute ma'am is ma'am is, is. ma'am rahul is ma'am is of course i we will teach i will teach you what are verbs adverbs and then come to subject verb agreement so in very briefly in short i am telling you under verbs apart from action verbs we have be form of verbs be which which shows the state of being of of the subject that means is it in a past tense present tense and things so state of being rahul is a brave child is is the verb rahul is the subject yes now if i would rahul along with his younger brother is coming to the party harry and ron are waiting but if it was only if you could you know i will just try to annotate and explain this to you here i have used are here i have used is may i know the reason behind this i have just explained the golden rule devansh tell me and because in harry and ron they are, it is plural and then rahul well, is there is one person there are two so this there are two subjects here so obviously when it is plural verb also has to be plural because they are that's the agreement between and if they don't agree then the subject goes haywire it becomes grammatically incorrect sentence always the subject and the verb has to agree with have you have to agree with each other rahul is singular verb also has to be singular okay now let me go to the next slide subject verb agreement means the subject and the verb must agree in case and in number when a writer uses a singular noun he must use a verb that is conjugated to match the singular nouns i have already explained this to you if i would have read this before explanation you must have found, you know you must have found this very complicated and now that i have explained you will understand this very well ram goes to school when the writer uses a plural noun he must use a verb that is conjugated that means that matches the number singular or plural they go to school now remember before we go on further it's important that we understand what is singular and plural in english language okay when it comes to nouns children i know you all of you have a few doubts i'll get back to it because you never know as you as we go ahead your doubts will be clarified now under nouns children what usually we do to make it plural we add s to it isn't it most of it or we add ies like party parties that uh, or we add only uh, only es fox foxes but most of the times we add ss okay at least i would say maybe 80 to 85% of the nouns to make it plural i add s to it give me a thumbs up you agree you have all the examples given now there's a there's a hidden fact that we did not know when it comes to verbs that means action or be forms 
they also have singular and plural okay now how do they form singular and plural easy to understand is that they act opposite to nouns that they act opposite to nouns so if you look at this here i am adding s to it to make it plural okay now when it comes to verbs i it acts opposite here for plural i have added s but for verbs singular is s so if i have to convert from singular verb to plural verb i have to remove s so the moment you get confused because i get confused sometimes at least you know at least the first one year when i studied subject verb agreement i used to go a little you know i used to get confused when i say cook what is cook is it singular or plural so my my way to understand was i used to get back to nouns because i am more uh, you know uh, clear with nouns so nouns with s is plural so cook is without s that means with s this is plural you got it children remember both act in the opposite manner when forming singular to plural are we clear with this give me a thumbs up are we clear with this you could show us up those who are on video could show me a thumbs up or those who have switched on their video can send me a thumbs up or you know the zoom icon let me check vrinda okay thank you so much okay now i'll clear these okay now we know the golden rule of subject verb agreement simple in three words they have to match in number simple you are singular i'm singular you are plural i'm plural who is telling this to whom verb is telling this to the subject in a sentence okay as we go further it's important now there's something called error of proximity what do you mean by proximity can one of you raise hand and tell me what do you mean by proximity yes kashvi tell me ma'am i didn't raise my hand ma'am there was something on my hand that's oh, why no problem you would like to tell me or you know ma'am ma'am can i make a guess yeah do that Ma'am, I think proximity is ma'am possibility. No, proximity means closeness, nearness. Okay. Now, all of us know the meaning of error, a mistake. So what happens here is we most of the times fail to identify this subject in a sentence. so the moment we don't identify the subject then we go wrong with the verb because we are instead of choosing a singular the verb and the subject is actually singular but we are choosing some other word which is plural so obviously our verb will fo follow that golden rule of sub sv remember often mistakenly the verb is made to agree in number with a noun near it so we we say ram goes now yeah i am not given you this example ram is it go or goes to the market goes goes to the market it goes why ma'am because uh, ma'am because in verb goes mean singular goes mean with s ma'am with s it means singular okay. so ram is singular that means verb with s is singular so that means there is an agreement here so it's easy to identify because ram is or goes is just after ram ram is before the verb now what happens verb and the subject are very far so what we do we do that error of proximity instead of a proper subject we identify so that particular error a mistake is called error of proximity which we will not do okay now what are the possibilities first thing is that where can we go wrong these are most common errors that we make 
so we are well prepared not to make that or those okay now the quality of the fruits was not good if you look at this sentence what is the verb here what is the verb was was remember children one trick i will tell you here when it comes to be form of verbs be form singular plural here is i told you most of your action verbs ends with s in verbs so here also it is is here it is r that's a coincidence what can come here was where here also was is ending with s where what else has have okay these are your b form of verbs singular and plural if you observe s s here also it's ending with s so here clearly it is singular oh. verb but here what we will do is we look at fruits and fruit is plural so what we would have put is where we want to match so but do you really think fruits is a subject that we have to consider here is the subject fruits here no ma'am what is the subject what are we really talking about the quality and the quality quality, quality. and the quality quality and quality is an abstract noun and abstract noun or rather uh, uncountable noun and that means they come under singular category or rather oh, i would say also quality i would say yes even if you say qualities of a human being qualities will become plural isn't it yeah. here this quality definitely is singular so that's why here so never make this error this is a error of proximity we will have so many you know we will definitely have exercises puzzles quiz apart from the link during the class also there will be a lot of interaction where we are going to you know have an in depth no in depth knowledge about you know our exposure about different complicated tricky sentences where we will you know make sure we don't if we come across in our academics we don't make mistakes okay this is error of proximity now what happens is under subject verb agreement we know the golden rule apart from knowing the golden rule there are certain other rules that we have to remember keep in mind it's nothing that you have to by heart no we have a lot many rules a few rules that we will discuss today okay now remember the pronoun you okay and i is an anomaly anomaly means they don't follow the normal rule what is a normal rule singular to singular plural mm -hmm. they both are rule breakers they don't follow this rule that you have to keep in mind remember when i say when i use the pronoun you to oh, children you all have to you have to do this work i say you have to do this work so although you all are like 12 of you here but i'm still using the pronoun you if i have to just um address to one child i will still use the pronoun you so you can be singular and plural you got it you were invited to come you now if i have to tell kashvi you were so it's kashvi is only one so i should have actually told you was invited you were invited because you is an anomaly it breaks the rules and it will always stay plural form okay now second thing is sing so i i is again very i uh, i is always talking about yourself here pronoun it's singular yes ma'am i go to market i go to school i is singular what is go ma'am go is plural ma'am plural remember 
the roll back. I and you do not follow. They are basically naughty children in the class, in the class of SVA. That they do, they both are never following the rules. They both are acting the opposite. Okay. Now, the second um, rule that you have to remember is singular subjects. Remember, singular subjects joined by and require a plural verb. This is something that we've already learned when I told Harry and Ron. So there are two subjects which are joined by and. However, there's a small twist here. Except when they mean one thing and convey one idea. Not always those two people, they are not always two people. They can be two ideas. But they are conveying one thing. Now, Larry and Mercy are reading books. So they are, they are very clearly talking about two people here. So that means plural subject. R is a plural verb. We get back to the golden rule. Honor and glory is his reward. Both mean the same. Similar at least. Honor and glory. They are basically conveying one idea that, that you know, both are the good things. They are not, the, both are opposite things. So that's why I use is here. You got it? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Due to paucity of time during the demo, I'm not able to give you a lot of examples. I'm just trying to, you know, touch base these rules. During the class, we will have a lot of exercises based on every other rule, children. Okay. Now, third rule is, a singular subject followed by intervening words. Intervening means they come in between of phrases such as with, as well as in addition to, accompanied by, together with, or no less than. This is something that you have to remember, children. Register that in your mind. I don't ask you to buy heart. You will come to know when has you. If I give you five examples, sixth one, you'll automatically be able to identify. Remember. When these phrases come after a singular subject, they take singular verb. Remember, now here, if you look at this sentence, Robin, accompanied by his sisters. So obviously they are, that means more than one. Don't you think? Robin and Robin will have yes, three sisters. That means there are four people. Four people means plural. The verb has to be plural. No. Robin is singular. And there is an intervening phrase accompanied by. It doesn't talk about direct Robin and his sisters. It is intervening with the phrase accompanied by. And that's the third rule. So I get back. I say to my golden rule is. Because I am only considering Robin to be my subject. Not sisters. That if they were and here, it was and, I would have made this R. But because they come under accompanied by, this is there. That's why my, it takes a singular. Clear? Is it clear, children? Give me a thumbs up. Yes? At least one of you give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Thank you, Kashmi. Okay. Now. See, we did not know that we have to think so much. See, what happens? Some rules or some errors, mistakes, all of us are making in English. So just because all of us are making, we know one is correcting each other. But actually, when you write a paragraph, okay, there can be so many errors that it will not be clearly visible. Robin accompanied by his sisters was enrolling with. You see, there are so many, so many sentences sometimes appear to be so accurate. It sounds accurate, but actually they are wrong, grammatically wrong. And that here in SVA, we will find out what are those. The fourth rule is two singular subjects joined by either or, neither nor, take a singular verb. Always singular verb. Although they are talking about two, but because we have either or, I have my verb has to be singular. Either mommy or daddy is coming with me to the station. So basically there are two, two subjects. 
but they're actually referring to one, either mummy or daddy. So is this the one, okay? Uh, now, again, there's a twist here. If two subjects, here mommy is uh, singular, daddy is singular. But what happens if there are two subjects, one is singular and one is plural? What happens? Here, the rule of proximity comes, not the error. Rule of proximity. Rule of proximity means rule of nearness, closeness. The one now, if two subjects, one singular and one plural, are connected by either or or neither nor, the verb agrees with the nearer subject. Remember, we are not, that was error of proximity. Here it's a rule of proximity. Here we are following the nearness. See, neither is there, nor is there. There are two, two subjects. One is players, one is coach. Now, what is the subject here? Is. And it is singular. Why it is singular? Because I am agreeing. I mean, the verb is agreeing to the nearer subject. The, what is nearer here? Coach. And coach is singular. So both have to match. So what if I now exchange these verb subjects? Coach will come here. Players will go here. Neither the coach nor the players dash coming to the press conference. Ma'am, R. Yes, you got R. it. Okay, now. Next. Um, wait, I will clear this. Okay, I'll read me read. If a sentence begins with here or there, the verb agrees with the subject which follows it. All these while subject was the first, then verb came. But here, most of the sentences, when you start with here or there, the subject comes after the verb. So you look at the subject, what is it? And, and the verb has to follow the golden rule. Here are the ways, because ways is the subject and it is plural. That's why there is a huge disparity. Disparity is an abstract noun. That means difference. Okay. And it is singular. So there, that's why I'm using this. The only thing is the difference is I don't look at here and there. I look at the subject which comes after the verb simply. Okay. Now I'll clear this children. Okay. Next. Seventh one. If a singular subject is followed by a phrase containing a plural noun, the verb is singular. Now, singular subject is followed by a phrase containing a noun. One of the boys is yelling so loud. I don't look at boys here. This is a singular subject, one. Two of the boys, now when I say two of the boys, are yelling. But here it's one. I will not look at boys. I will look at one or two, whatever is the subject there. Eighth one. We have indefinite pronouns. We have many indefinite pronouns. Under which they are categorized into three, four, uh, maybe, you know, three, they are being put into three groups when it comes to SVA rules. The first is indefinite pronoun. When you say indefinite, the word itself gives you some kind of meaning Okay, an idea what it means because it's not different. Definite whom you are referring or addressing to. Several. Who are those? How many? What are? No, several. That's it. So several, few, both, many, others. I repeat, several, few, both, many, others. Always take plural because they always are referring to more than one. Both were asking to be freed. Several animals are, are approaching. You got it? Now, the second category of indefinite pronouns. Some, most, all, none. Are singular or plural. But the first five are always singular. Here, some, most, all, none can be singular or plural according to the meaning of the sentence. Some of the girls were absent. 
here if you look at it girls we are we are referring definitely to plural subject some of the ice cream is left ice cream is an uncountable noun it really cannot be put into plural category they cannot be counted ice cream or dairy products cannot be counted okay now so these has we go ahead do exercises you will come to know children now this is very important and we kind of do uh, we will might get stuck because we are only concentrating on the golden rule remember expressions of time money weight distance i repeat time money weight distance are always will take singular now 1 million dollars is comes under comes under what money isn't it because it's coming under money and the rule says that will always take singular that's why 1 million dollars although it's very clearly plural i will still use the verb singular was two years comes under time is a long time to prepare years it's plural but it comes under the expression of time i will use the verb singular yes brinda can you give me a thumbs up if you got the 10th rule thank you so much the following words are always plural pants trousers pliers scissors chairs tongs all these okay they end with s however if the word pair is used the verb is singular the pants are torn into two okay so pants are because they, are, they these all always are plural now when i the moment i add a pair of pants so scissors is kept on the table the moment i say the pair of scissors is it is or are scissors are kept on the table but the moment i say pair of scissors is it is or are come on who can answer this pair of scissors none is none is is placed on it because i have used the word pair if i remove pair and use only scissors it takes plural form i add pair to it it will take singular form the last one i think yeah okay very quickly we'll finish this certain nouns though plural in form are singular in meaning and therefore take singular verbs mathematics this they if you know we might get confused because it's ending with s news it might end with it's ending with s but they will always be obvious it still we are talking only about one subject it will always be singular okay now um uh, okay 14th one the name of the country is always regarded as delhi i mean sorry is regarded as singular of course this is not to be really mentioned but what happens some countries sound like it's plural bahamas philippines but it's always singular do i say india is a beautiful country or do i say india are a beautiful country it's obviously is so uh, you should not get confused with such words like bahamas maldives philippines they are still one name of one country okay now very quickly what we'll do is i want you all to uh, answer these what you will do is you are going to raise your hand so that because you most of you have switched off your video i if you could raise your hand to answer it will be more easier for me to identify and give you a chance rather than just calling out names haniya very good i see some of you haniya can you please tell me the first one yes ma'am uh, no news is good news now why you see it's very easy to identify but i want you all to catch that rule which is behind this can you please tell me news ends with s but why are you still using the uh, singular form 
Uh, Ma'am, we are using a singular form because uh, news uh, is added with S, but it is in uh, one only, like it is singular only. Yeah, it's a singular and one rule was there where you have mathematics and stuff, okay? Now, um, let me ask KB, the second one. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 90 rupees is, is too much for this bag. Rule. Uh, Ma'am, this is because always money is... Uh, is used with a singular verb. Lovely. Very good. I'm glad. Thank you, okay. ma'am. Tashri, can you please tell me the third one? Yes, ma'am. Man's happiness or misery is in his own hands. Ma'am, this is because, ma'am, this is, ma'am, an emotion. Happiness or misery. And emotion is always, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, sing ma'am, emotion is always singular. No. The rule behind this is that these two are joined by or. Sorry, like I told you, only a few rules have been taught. If it's joined by and, and they mean separate their two identities and entities, then it is considered plural. Here, when you have two subjects joined by or or either, then it is to be considered similar. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. But ma'am, what if we, ma'am, what if we just have, ma'am, supposedly, ma'am, man's happiness is in his own hands, then ma'am, we still use his, right? Then ma'am, you still we, use it. They are trying to confuse you. They are, they are basically trying to confuse you by putting two subjects so that the person gets confused and says, ah. But it's but, joined by or. Yes, ma'am, but now I wanted to ask that, ma'am, uh, if, ma'am, uh, uh, like ma'am the sentence is that man's misery is in his own hands then ma'am won't ma'am misery uh, won't ma'am there be only like two like there won't there be only like one uh, subject but, one subject and so ma'am which rule will be followed there the, the, see normal sentences like when I say Ram goes to market Poonam ma'am teaches English Puna man is singular, teaches verb is singular. So these all are something that we are always following the golden rule. But there are certain twists and turns that can make us confuse. That's why these rules have been made. So when I say man's happiness is in his own hands, comes under golden rule. Simple. You got it? So to confuse you, they have given two subjects and they have joined by all. So these rules are basically to only clarify what you have to do in such cases. That's okay, it. Otherwise, all your other rules, all your other sentences, you're following the golden rule. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, Hansika. Hansika. Sharma. Can you tell me the last, the fourth one? Yes, ma'am. There are many objections to the plan. Why? Why ma or? Ma it's going to be R because objections is plural. Very good. Nachiket, last one. Yes, ma'am. 12 dozen rupees. So 12 dozen costs 200, costs 200 rupees. Because 200 rupees is not one, it is plural. So 12 dozen costs 200 rupees. One minute. What is the subject here? 12 dozen. 12 dozen. Huh. So what is it? Singular or plural? It is plural. It is plural. Do I have to know? Does it mean that plural means I have to put cost? Uh, no. Why? Uh, Ma'am, because when it is plural, we are going to put pl plural. Uh, there's some confusion. I think I, I saw you leaving and joining back. I think that's where you missed this particular rule. Kashvi, tell me. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, also, ma'am, uh, in the one third one, ma'am, I actually, uh, my battery ran out and ma'am, I had to rejoin. So I didn't uh, hear the, uh, I didn't hear the rules properly. But ma'am, I think I know the answer to the fifth one. Yeah, tell me. Ma'am, uh, 12 dozen costs 200 rupees, ma'am, because dozen is, ma'am, uh, even though ma'am dozen is like tw uh, 12, but ma'am, still, it will be, uh, ma'am, dozen is singular. So, ma'am, a dozen, a 12 dozen costs 200 rupees. Costs. Now, what is one minute here? When, wait. When I come and show you this particular rule, where is this rule? Tenth one, no. 
time money weight and distance does it come does 12 doesn't come under all these category yes ma'am which okay. category some expressions of time money weight and distance no does it come under this uh, category no does it come under this category it's not time no ma'am it's not Namich money ma'am it's weight huh ma'am it's weight no ma'am it's not i think weight i think kg ma'am it's yeah. weight cost of costs ma'am it is weight cost ma'am it's okay, cost but ma'am ma'am suppose okay. ma'am suppose in the last question it was like suppose somebody asked what is the price of this so he says this car th these uh, these cost 12 well does uh, these cost 200 these 12 well doesn't cost, cost 200 these cost or costs these Yeah, but these if you are saying it in the present tense, if you are saying these, it means you are referring to plural. If no, it is this, singular. But, but in okay. present tense, sometimes you don't say cost. Okay, we will we will discuss that in detail during the class. Okay, we will have something. Subject verb agreement will take at least three class, three, uh, you know. classes for me to complete because there are so many confusing sentences that can you know where both the answers can be right come on let's quickly try because we are almost towards the end of the class we'll let's quickly try the last five here wait i would like to give chances to others if they have raised hand uh, no i am seeing the same anika anika tell me the first one Yes, ma'am. Is his pants were torn during? Well, ma'am, his pants were torn during the match. Why were? Ma'am, were were because pants is always plural. Yes, yes. A pair of pants was okay. Now, um, yeah, we have some uh, Manan. Tell me, Manan, second one. Manan. i heard i saw you raising hand or i can see your hand raised uh okay you're trying to unmute but we are not able to hear you manan uh kd i'm sorry manan mm -hmm. yeah tell me the next one uh, uh ma'am i want to ask something ma'am what do we mean by tweezers um You know, they are something where you know you can pluck small little things. Please. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, R. R. You know, ma'am, R. Ma'am. Yes, you're good. Okay, mm, let me ask. Uh, okay, Manan is trying to rejoin. Um, wait, wait, Kashvi. We'll ask. Uh, Vrinda, can you please answer, baby? You be you've kept your video on all through the class. Come on, I want you to participate and tell me the third answer. Neither candidate nor fit for the job. Neither candidate nor fit for the job. No, no, no. It is is or are. Neither candidate uh, is fit for the job. Neither candidate is fit for the job. Okay. What about um, Devansh? Devansh, are you there? If you could unmute and answer the next one, it's very easy. Okay. Nachiket, the la United States dash a big navy. Is it has United, or have? The United States has a big navy. Has. Remember, the moment I say states. it's plural okay it's not plural here it's a name of one country that's it okay kashvi the last one ma'am i think it will be 15 minutes are allowed to each speaker okay 15 minutes come under what um, no i'm just asking it might not come under that category you just think i'm just giving you one ma'am time ma'am time ma time. Ma time. time very clear are you clear yes, are you sure Yes, ma'am. So, what is the rule when it comes time? 
What is the rule? Ma'am, it uh, ma'am, it should be ma'am, it is singular. Should be singular. Okay, the answer is in fifteen minutes is allowed. You see, so so easily we could make that mistake, or very confidently we could make that error. Yes, ma'am. So we have been doing this all through when we write and speak, and there's no one to correct us. Okay, so just it's not for your academics; it is also going to make you better writers and speakers, and actually you will speak good grammatically correct sentences if you strengthen your grammar here, children. Okay, with this. i in today's class i enjoy teaching all of you although most of you had switched on uh, switched off the video but i could still uh, you know get that response interactions and i could see that behind that uh, closed cameras you all are still interested to learn and kudos to all of you to sit here patiently on a saturday night till 9:15 to listen to me thank you so much i look forward to teach you all um uh, in the regular batch i hope all of you enjoyed and learned something today yes yes sir uh, uh, you could yes. uh, thank you so much yeah sure thank you thank you for the wonderful session ma'am so students uh, have you enjoyed the session yes sir yes sir okay, okay so students uh, in the chat box i have shared the links again okay uh, you can just copy and save the links this link will help you to join the classes okay live classes and now puna ma'am will meet you in the live classes and live classes will start from 4 june okay so thank you puna ma'am for the wonderful session thank you students for joining today and yes devansh you have any question sir your classes would be start from the next month yes 4 june correct next 6 days like next week next okay. week yeah Uh, Anika, do you also have any question? No, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, then students. Uh, so we will meet you in the live classes now. Thank you for joining today. Thank you, Purna ma'am, for the wonderful session. Okay. Thank you, sir. So Thank you, everyone. Sir. Thank you, Jay. Good night, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.